but just don't do the most. I put my friends in that old Benz and took that to the coast. It ain't no. I learned a couple new tricks yesterday, like two and a half new tricks. Ooh! Exposure. I say two and a half tricks because I did land a third trick, but I can't imagine it was anything other than a flute. Uh, let's warm up first. Sliding in here like a wet flow, already fried from the get go. Alligators look like echo, everything I do they echo. Big fast my bank on big man, my drip too wet that spit can. Never done that one before. I think that nolly back lip is honestly easier than a regular back lip because you're already lifting, you know, your board over it. It's just not something I've ever really tried. I don't even think I could do back lips anymore. I'll try one. One. Grocery fur if you prefer. Quick ride, no time, I'm in there. I guess I probably could, but I don't really want to. Back to the tricks I actually want to try. Impossibles are a trick that I just never really understood. Now that I'm realizing like the crux of it isn't, you know, vertical rotation. What? But actually like the wrap on your foot. I started just kind of imagining how I might scoop and spin it. Yesterday, honestly, first try, second try, third try, they worked and I was like, what? I don't know, is that up for debate? Like, is that an impossible or is that just like a 360 shove it with, with, you just. It's far closer to an impossible than I've ever done. I haven't even reviewed the footage yet to see like if I like it, but you tell me before I see it. Well, I guess it's after I see it because I've edited it. The other trick that I learned is nolly late backside shove it. I only thought about doing this trick because I like how some people do these like super late tweaked you know, fakey frontside 180s or nolly backside 180s. Kinda like that, but you know, rolling away. And then once I was trying it nolly, I was like, oh, I just kind of throw the board. I love skateboarding because even when it like makes you just want to just destroy your board in frustration, the absolute feeling of euphoria, this like bodily release when you finally land something that you've been working on for a while, it's unlike almost anything else that I have experienced. It's so underrated. What a what a fantastic sport. I still need to buy my own actual board because I've pretty much destroyed Kristoff's and my boots are, oh no, no. Goal this week, I've got to finish uh, the first video about the studio build here and go to a local skate shop, pick up some shoes, pick up a board, keep at it. The other trick that I did, I swear, you won't believe me, was uh, it was an impossible underflip. Two things happened uh, since shooting and editing this video. One is that like the day after I shot this, uh, Barracks put out like this uh, bounty trick, which was this trick. So everyone was posting doing it. And I was like, oh man, it would have been so cool if I could have done one for that. Uh, the second one is I accidentally called it an impossible underflip the whole time. It's, I think it's technically an impossible late flip, but um, skateboarding trick names are stupid sometimes. For whatever reason, while I was like trying these impossibles, as I was pulling my foot up, it was just forcing that underflip. And I was like, what the heck? And then I, I tried to do one and I landed and I was like, that's, Cool. No, nope, not today. And now I can't figure them out anymore. There are two other tricks that I wanted to try today that I've never done. One, I feel like there's no real reason I shouldn't be able to, but I am terrified of getting hurt. 
And the other, I've been able to like put into that trick my whole life and I've just never been able to slide it. For starters, I have never 50 50 to round rail. It's just always scared me. And I know people say like you lock your trucks in and then it's easy and you're fine, but it has always terrified me. And so we're gonna try and 50 this rail. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Let's try and do most of the rail. Look at this. Like this is exactly, exactly what I always fear is gonna happen. Just on, bye bye. <laughs> I can do it, but I don't like it. The second trick that I wanna try and do is frontside feebles. I've been able to do backside feebles for my whole life, but frontside, for whatever reason, I can't keep my weight behind the board. I always just lock in and then fly away and the board stays there. I really do need to be editing right now, but it's this project that I just can't quite find my footing for. And so, <laughs> so I'm making this video, which is actually why I made the last video. You know, sooner or later, I'm gonna actually have to do the real work. Thanks for watching.